Come one, come all. Hear the tale of Artie versus Donkey Kong Country Free. Praise be to God on this glorious day. Today, we're going to finish up the Chaos Core because we're on the last level of it. Poisonous Pipeline. This level sounds a lot more ominous than it actually is. So the gimmick for this level? When you're in the water, your controls are reversed. You could push left to go right and vice versa. But all in all, this is actually a pretty simple water stage, so the gimmick's actually not too bad. The only annoying thing is that, yeah, when you've got to dive out of the water like that, your controls go back to normal. But apart from that, it's a pretty simple stage. Just take it nice and slow and you should be fine. Sure, you got your lurchins, you got your green fish, but... I mean, it's not like an excessive amount of them. Also, up and down are not reversed, so you still push up, hold up to go up faster and hold down to go down faster. It's literally just left and right that are reversed. Same with on guard, you still push up to go up and down to go down. Nice thing about on guard is you can just push B to go forward. But man, apparently uh, Chaos's uh, castle's leaking toxic fluid into the ocean, and on guard has turned into on guard. On guard -semption. Man, there are bear coins everywhere in these stages. Yeah, but like the gimmick of this stage, the like left and right are reversed, it's not a terribly bad gimmick. So as I've said before, it's not like a super hard water level, especially since you get on guard in it. That was annoying. Oh, okay. I may have gotten a bit greedy there. Okay, it looks like we don't have on guard for this part. Just like, don't be afraid to stop for a bit. Because on this stage, stopping can save your life quite frequently. music is pretty good. Like, far from my favorite in the game, but it's, it sums up the levels pretty well. Darn it, should have stopped there for a bit. And can I just say that, like, the pipeline levels are massively overused in this game? Like, there are so many pipe levels. Granted, two of them are in Pacifica, which is not in the Super Nintendo version. But, like, you've got Demolition Drain Pipe, the Low Gravity Labyrinth, you've got Poisonous Pipeline... Actually, is that it? Oh, besides Pacifica, I actually think that's it. Never mind. K-O-N, K-O-N. This is the K-O-N Network. Bringing you calm news from all corners of calm country. And the northern hemisphere.
Is this the exit? That's the exit. Cool. So that is not the way I want to go. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's a clever one. Using the steel kegs as platforms to bounce other steel kegs into the coin. A whole bonus barrel. Pretty stars. This should be simple enough. As long as, they don't, as long as they don't pull any enemies in here. No siree! That was super simple. And on that note, we can bid Poisonous Pipeline adieu. Oh, I got the G again, apparently. <laughs> That's kind of amusing. There we go. All right, it's time to confront the final boss in Castle Chaos. In case you couldn't tell, it's Chaos again. Where click click calms back. Click this this time Chaos will be victorious. So I must say the background here is amazing, really high tech. Chaos is quite the intimidating foe. So we got a barrel over here. We can throw it on his head. Now that head pops off. And we get yet another head. So this is a pretty simple fight. All we really have to do is throw barrels at his head. And yeah, that's the final boss. At least Chaos. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Oh no! What have you done? My wife's going to kill me! I used all her best pots and pans to make him. But then you just cast him aside. As if he was a stack of empty tins. I thought that's what he was. What? How dare you! Chaos was my ticket to world domination. And I'd have gotten away with it. If it wasn't for you meddling kids! I guess it just isn't your day, is it? Well, you may have roasted my robot, but I'm the master chef around here! And I reckon it's about time your goose was cooked! So this is the real final boss of the game, Baron K. Rulenstein. K. Rule became a mad scientist. And yeah, what we can do is uh, grab those levers on the ceiling. So here, wait for him to pass by us. There's another lever on this side. That'll make a barrel drop. And now we want to hit the back of him with the barrel. And that'll make his jetpack malfunction a bit. Well, this is going well. I'm not trying to drop the barrel right there. Oh, darn it. He's a tough final boss. Because he there's really no safe one safe point from him. You just have to keep moving around. Thankfully, we skipped the chaos fight once we beat him. But dang, K. Roll, he's done like everything. He's been like a king. He's been a pirate. He's a mad scientist. He's also been a heavyweight boxer from Donkey Kong 64. It's, it's a very impressive resume he's got going. All right. Kitty Calm, this is a bit easier. I guess you can just do that. And despite just this just being the regular old boss theme, it's really good. And it actually fits the final boss very well. Come on, you didn't think it was going to be one of the first Donkey Kong Country games without K. Rule being the boss, did you? 
Yeah, so Dixie can escape his attacks a bit easier than Kitty Calm can, but Kitty Calm can hit K. Ruinstein much easier. Okay, yeah, you do have to hit his jetpack, though. Hitting him in the butt will not work. Or we're hitting him in the face, apparently. Darn you, K. Ruinstein! Oh wow, he went up higher than I expected. Yeah, but K. Rule, props to him, he gets harder in every game. I do think he's harder in this than he is in uh, Donkey Kong Country 2. There we go. That was dumb. Kitty's just gonna hang out here for a bit, and kablam. Okay, now he's making the levers... Okay, yeah. This is where the fight gets really hectic, because now there's an electric fence at the bottom. What we want to do is... Okay, so there's there will be a barrel that will appear on one of the platforms on the sides. Never mind. Yeah, K. Rollenstein pulls no punches in this fight. He's just throwing everything he's got at you. He has no qualms about getting, uh, beating up Kitty Calm, who is a toddler. Alright. So you hit him twice, and then he goes into his second form. Yeah, so the platform appears on this side. So one of these levers will cause the barrel to fall. Yep, that lever causes the barrel to fall on the platform back there. And that's a little gruesome. But yeah, now when we hit his jetpack, it malfunctions, so he falls into the electric fence below. Which is actually pretty awesome, but also like, wow, that's kind of scary for a little kid's game. But Dane, he's he's taking it like a boss. Okay, I forgot about that part. Face K. Ruinstein. Oh, I guess, yeah, you can just duck under him. I forgot about that. That makes the fight quite a bit easier. <laughs> I also forgot about how laughably easy the chaos portion of this fight it was. Come on, K. Ruinstein. Yeah, but he just gets electrocuted twice and shrugs it off like it's nothing. So yeah, what we want to do now is hang onto this platform and duck. Now this platform will move back and forth. Keep ducking so we can go under him. Grab onto that. Duck down. Barrel appears.
Uh, yeah, let's just hang out back here for a bit. Yeah, but this is like a very intimidating final boss. Many forms and very difficult to figure out. But also very satisfying. Is that the end? This is where it gets in Yeah. There's like no group. Oh, there is a platform above that uh, electric knob. Darn it. It's just blends it blends in with the background so nicely. Okay, Ducky makes this battle much easier. So does dropping the barrels. Oh. <laughs> I can fly! I can fly! <laughs> Actually, in case he started flying right at me, I didn't want to be right next to him. Also, I love how large Kitty Kong's barrel hitbox is, <laughs> in this fight at least. K. Rule, you might, since the only way we can technically damage him is via the electric fence, he might want to turn that off. But it makes for an impressive boss, so why not? Honestly, you utilize most of like the acrobatics you learn in the game, which is pretty cool. He also gets faster and faster as the fight goes on. Alright, I'm still not entirely sure the best way to do this final part of the fight after this. So we can grab onto that. I guess he just gonna go. And we have to time it so that way when we hit him, he'll fall into the electric fence. We're gonna have better luck on this side. Eh <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And guess what? Whoa, whoa, my head. What happened? One minute I was dreaming about the world's biggest pile of bananas. And the next I was a power-crazed madman. Hey, don't worry, Donkey. Thanks to Dixie, it's over. I'm impressed. I bet even Cranky would be after that performance. No, nope, not really. Oh man. <laughs> right, you go this way, kitty, and I'll go that way. You wouldn't hit a guy with glasses, would you? <laughs> and that's Donkey Kong Country Free. Team GBA.
It's a fun game. Probably definitely the weakest in the Donkey Kong Country trilogy, but it's still quite fun. And man, the GBA music just makes it so much better. Yeah, that's a really good final boss fight. Like, very challenging, but it's also very intricate and really, like, awesome as well. So, well done on that. And as you probably guessed, no, we're not done with this Let's Play. Not even a little bit, because we still have all the Lost World to go through. <laughs> and, of course, some left uh, final banana birds to collect, and some cheat codes to explore. So, yeah, there's still a decent amount of content left, so you can look forward to that, or you can be like, Daw, come on, I don't want to watch the more of the series. I want you to do the next Let's Play. Oh, copters. But, yeah, there are five Lost World levels, and I'm trying to think. One of them is pretty easy and fun, and the other four are nightmares. So, look forward to that. <sighs> Love the mill fever. All-time greats! Cranky Kong with 103%, Funky Kong with 101%, Wrinkly Kong with 90%, Art with 87%, and then Rank with 50%. I am an average ape! How dare you! You can't even get 103% at this point in the time. So, before we end the episode off, what I want to do is go all the way back to Blunder's booth, because guess what? Blunder's got more secrets to share with us. Back for more clues, eh? Well, if you think I'm telling you the lost world is in the compass rocks... Get out! Get out of my shack and stop making a monkey out of me! Booyah. See those four rocks up there? That's the key to the Lost World. And that's what we're going to explore in the next episode of Donkey Kong Country Free! Thank you so much for watching, I'm Colorful Artie, I hope to see you then, because the Lost World, it's going to be fun to watch because of how difficult it is and how amazing the levels are. Have a great day, and God bless, as always.